President Biden does more in one hour than most people do in a day. His age with experience and expertise is an incredible asset, and he proves it every day. Okay, so what did Joe Biden do today? Nothing. He had an early lunch, and then he had a briefing in the afternoon. Now, if that doesn't prove he's fit to be president, I'm not sure what does. Now, the media has turned into a self-help line for the president. Watch. He's going to have to get on the corner and meet people and hang out with regular people and give some speeches and perk people up like Harry Truman did back in 1948. You got to sell. You got to sell yourself. He will make more gaps. Of course he will. But isn't it better to have him out there? I'd make him feel better about himself. I'd just be just nice to him and encouraging. That's one thing that staffers should do. Encourage the guy. Encourage him when he does something real, really well. Encourage him? Joe Biden needs encouragement? Is he the president or a kid learning how to ride a bike? Now, usually Democrats escape negative news cycles because reporters don't ask them anything. But we have Hillary Vaughn, who confronted House Democrats about their nominee with diminished faculties. Watch. Special counsel's report, in the report, it said that President Biden is an elderly man with a bad memory. Do you think that President Biden is mentally fit for office? That was a partisan report. And President Biden has been absolved of any criminal wrongdoing. President Biden is absolutely fit. Trump is the one who is crazy. I think he is the one who's a liar. He's the one who has proven uh, that he cannot be trusted. President Biden has proven himself to have a strong memory. Uh, I would prefer an elderly man uh, over an elderly man who's just chaotic and crazy and has 91 felony counts awaiting him. There's no doubt in my mind that the president is mentally fit for office. No, 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 I'm not talking. He's sharp, he's fit, um, he's always answering questions. Do you think it would be dangerous for the president of the United States to have a bad memory? The only person's mental health that I'm concerned about is Donald Trump's. It's dangerous to have a president like Trump who grabs women by the uh, you know, private parts and uh, mimics and mocks the disabled, lies, cheats. I think that's what's dangerous. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.